I'm just so excited about this. Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm back, baby. We are going to pickle today. This is going to be my rendition of a normal pickle. We're gonna add some type of Louisiana seasonings to make them just, just a little bit different. Uh, this will be perfect for your spicy chicken sandwiches, for any fried foods. That is what I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make for you the pickle that I enjoy and hopefully you will enjoy as well. So we now have a vegetable garden. So, so stoked about it. We've got tomatoes on the way, squash, zucchini. I started growing some other herbs. I use a ton of cilantro in all my foods. We are going to try to use as much home source produce as possible. But as soon as that happens, I will have a recipe cooking up my homegrown vegetables. Thank y'all for following. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, if you get a chance, hit that like button, subscribe. It helps out greatly for the algorithm. Let's get the pickling, baby. Yes. So for this recipe, it's two parts. We got one part brine, two parts just the pickles themselves and the stuff we're putting in the mason jar. So for the first bit, we're gonna make our brine. Our brine is gonna consist of two cups of white vinegar that I just spilled everywhere. One cup of water. Then we're gonna go ahead and throw in our one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of minced onion, and the big ingredient is one tablespoon of this, this package of Zatarain's crab boil. Now this is gonna add the extra Louisiana tang and what makes these spicy and perfect for your chicken sandwiches and things like that. All right, so one tablespoon of that thrown into the mix. Then we will go ahead and mix it with this spoon. You just wanna dissolve everything the best you can before. And then we'll go ahead and throw this on the stove until it's boiling. Once it's boiling, it's all ready to go. Now that we got the brine over there starting to boil, we can go ahead and prep everything that we're gonna throw into our mason jar. So for this recipe, it calls for about four to six pickling, um, pickling cucumbers. I'm using these English pickling cucumbers. And what I'm gonna do ahead, first off is just cut off the edges, throw those in the compost. And we want thin, eighth of an inch thick pickles. Uh, you want them as even as possible, and you also don't want them to get fat. Uh, fat ones are not gonna soak in the vinegar the, the way the rest are going to. So we'll just go ahead and chop these up. Just like so. And throw them straight into the jar. Now I said four to six of these, right? Yeah. Now you try your best to make them even. Even I talk about making them even, and some of them are a little bigger than the others, but I mean, that's just what cooking is. It's <laughs> little Bob Ross and all of us, you know? There are no mistakes. Just happy accidents, like my brother. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these up and stop talking. All 
Uh oh, I threw a threw a butt piece in there. All right, so maybe one more. All right. That one looked like it needed to be eaten. So you wanna leave a little bit of space because we're also gonna add a jalapeno, just one fresh jalapeno. Now this doesn't need to be as thinly sliced as the cucumbers, but try to just to seed them as, as much as possible. Throw them on top. And then we're gonna also add four cloves of garlic. So what, what you wanna do with that is, is just slice it up, not anything too thin, not anything too small. Give it the, you know, the, the good four to five over. Just chop it up and we're just gonna throw it in our mason jar with our cucumbers. This is gonna add some residual flavor to it. I always add jalapeno and garlic to every one of my pickles. It's kind of a, it's kind of a go-to. Uh, you can add it, you can keep it out. Just, I, I think it's good. So do it, or don't. But <clears throat> I'm really excited. This is gonna be a game changer. All right, so now all we have to do is wait. We have to wait for our brine. Try to give that a stir every couple of minutes before it starts boiling. I need to go do that right now, so I need to take this off real quick. ka -chow! All right, so our brine finally came to a boil. We have that right here. What I did was I grabbed a big pot. Um, this is trick at the trade. I grabbed the pot here, and what we're gonna do is throw our mason jar in it to catch all the absolute spillage that's gonna happen here. And once this is cooled down after it's started boiling, you wanna stir it maybe one more time. You're trying to, hopefully all that salt is dissolved. It's the whole point of, of boiling it is dissolving the salt. Uh, that zatarans will also, all the sodium, all the salt in that will also have dissolved. And you should have this nice orange colored brine, which I am super stoked about. All right, so now that it's cooled off a little bit, we're just gonna go ahead, pour it in here and fill it up to the top. Yes, sir. With a little despair. That should be as, as tall as it needs to be, as filled. We're going to sit here, go do something else, and wait for this to turn room temperature. I mean, this will probably take about an hour for it too. Once it does, we'll just go ahead, throw this lid on, put it in the refrigerator, and these pickles should be ready for tomorrow. Do these the night before you have your spicy chicken sandwiches or I mean a burger, anything that you're gonna put these on, just do them the night before. They'll be perfect in 24 hours. Of course, just like everything else that you pickle, the longer you wait, the better it's gonna be. I think the storage life of these pickles will probably be about two months. I mean, I don't have pickles that really have ever lasted that long because we eat them all the time in our house. So we'll wait, put the lid on, throw them in the fridge. So there we have it. Zatarans pickles, refrigerator pickles, whatever pickles, pickles pickles. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I am so happy to be back. Like I said before, we're gonna have some, some homegrown vegetables coming our way. So far, I think we're gonna post every other Friday. I think that'll give me enough time to make all these videos. Thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. Please subscribe. 
hit that like button. Have a great day. Thanks for cooking with Court. Is but for this, I, the the actual powder, the it's it's an orange granular powder, spice powder. Let's go with that. Uh oh, I just lost. I just lost some lumens. Man, I went partially blind because of it. All right. Oh no. That's not good. Okay, well, now we're shooting stuff in the dark. That light bulb burnt out. That was quick.